Well, good morning, folks. Today I'm going to try to survey two pork chops. And this is a process where you cook food at a low temperature for quite a while in a well in a water bath uh, although the water really doesn't touch the food and I put two pork chops in a bag here and sort of suck the air out of it I've got a vessel here full of water I've got a, a larger vessel so that I can survey um, larger pieces of meat but today is sort of an experiment and I'm going to see how this works uh, I've got a stick heater and what it does is it accurately sets the temperature of the water it's got a timer on it and you can set the temperature anywhere from about a oh, below 100 degrees on up to about 200 degrees so this to cook these pork chops, boneless pork chops, I set it at 150 degrees, which will cook them to medium, medium well. And I'm going to cook them two hours. And so, as you can see, the the souvé stick is shows that it's the current temperature is of 128 degrees. The set temperature is 150 degrees, and I've got the working time up there about 2 hours and 11 minutes. So once this gets up to temperature 150 degrees, it'll start counting down uh, from 2 hours and 11 minutes down to zero, and then probably alert me when it's done. So I prepared these. I prepared these pork chops. I took them out and uh, dried them off and then put some uh, seasoning on them and then put them in a put them in a bag and I'm going to put this bag into the pot of water over here okay so I've positioned the pork chops under the water in in the bag and this is the way it's going to be for two hours. Then my long-term plan is to, when they get done cooking, in the here you want to brown them for a better flavor. So I'll take these out of the bag, put them in a skillet, and with some butter, and turn them on their side and brown brown the outside of the pork chops, and then. We'll uh, cut them up and taste them and see how they do. You can see the temperature is now up to 40. It'll probably take another five minutes before it gets up to up to temperature, and then uh, the timer will uh, count down. If you look down in the water there, you can see the stick has got a heater inside that slit on the side. And then at the bottom, it's got a uh, impeller blade on a little motor, and it uh, spins, takes water in those holes around the bottom of the stick there, and then pushes it out on a little hole here uh, at the bottom of the stick, and so the water is always circulating, and it's supposed to keep the temperature even uh, all over the uh, all over the meat or whatever you're cooking. So we'll let it go and see what happens. Okay, well, they're cooked. I've cooked them about uh, an hour and 50, 50 minutes. So I'm going to take the pork chops out of the water and bring them over here. And in the meantime, I've got the pan heating up. Yeah. So what they want, they say you should do is dry the pork chops off so that uh, dry them off so that they'll 
uh, the brown, all right. Let's open the bag here. Mm, boy, this smells good. Let that let them cook, and I'm gonna I'm gonna season them with some slap your mama right here, and brown them on both sides, and we'll go from there. Okay, I've, I've browned the pork chop after being in the sous vide and look how oh, that looks tender, really tender look at that. It's cooked perfect all the way through. It's real moist. Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, I got a couple baked potatoes in the microwave. I'm going to put them out here and then we're going to have us some pork chops. So, I'd say it's a good deal. See you later.